Hey, good Monday morning. Yeah, Monday morning. This is Pastor Bill, and I want to talk about faith. Talk about faith. Because sometimes I think all of us who claim to have faith, we falter, we doubt, we question. And it's part of being a human. For example, in Matthew chapter 14, in, in verse 22 to 33, you know, there's a story of Jesus walking on water. And when the disciples are on the boat in the middle of the Sea of Galilee, Jesus comes walking out on water. And the first thing that happens is, I mean, they're afraid. Of course, they're afraid because they never saw or experienced anything like this before. And they're just like us, right? Something new happening. They are a little confused, perplexed, and afraid. And then Jesus says, don't be afraid. It is it is I. And, and then what happens next? Peter just without, I mean, I don't know if he really put thought into it or not. He's like, if it's really you, Lord, then invite me to walk out on that water. And, and I think Peter is an example for all of us because Jesus knows Peter. He knows him better than anybody. He knows that Peter is not perfect. He knows that Peter has a temper. He knows that Peter is going to deny him, not once, but three times. He knows Peter's strengths and weaknesses. And yet, what does Jesus do? Jesus says, come, come on out. And and so Peter steps out of the boat. Now, and I think Peter is an example for us because even though we have imperfections, even though we doubt, even though we have tempers, even though all those qualities in Peter are in us, Jesus still invites us to get out of the boat and follow him. And it takes faith. It takes faith. It's not easy. Being a Christian and being a follower of Jesus is not easy. And I know you have these evangelists on TV telling you, oh, you become a Christian, you're going to have a mansion, you're going to have a car. No. Jesus says, take up your cross daily and follow me. Peter, when he stepped out of that boat, he was stepping out in faith. And what happens? He focuses on Jesus. And, and I think his, his story is a story and example for all of us because when you step out in faith, you got to focus on Jesus. But the world's going to distract us. Peter was distracted by the wind and the waves. And when he took his eyes off of Jesus, he began to sink in the water. But yet what happens? Even though he doubted, even though he took his eyes off Jesus, he says, Lord, save me. And immediately... Immediately, Jesus reaches out his hand, pulls him up. And, and I think that is a great reminder for all of us because none of us are perfect. All of us have moments of doubt. But yet, even Peter, in his moment of doubt, cries out, Lord, save me. And what happens? Jesus immediately picks him up out of the water. And I think that is so important for us because none of us are in over our heads. None of us are too deep in doubt. And I think it's so important to remember that no matter where we are in our walk of faith, Peter reminds us, all we have to do is say, Lord, save me. And Jesus is there to pick us up. I think that's a great reminder for us as we begin a new week. This is Pastor Bill. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually taking a vacation day. And I hope everybody has a great day. Wherever you are, I hope you're happy. I hope you're healthy. And I hope you're safe. God bless each and every one of you.